Yo, so first off, what do you think of this fit? What do you think of this scorpion fit? I don't know. It looks kind of cool, but at the same time, it looks kind of stupid. That's where I'm at with it. Tell me what you think about it down in the comments. We're going to get into some scorpion combos here with Cyrax. And if you watch the original video that I did covering scorpion, it goes over an entire game plan, everything that I'm doing with scorpion, bomb setups in the corner with Cyrax, combos that I'm pushing the, the opponent all the way down to the corner. Be sure to check that out. Also, tons of chip damage stuff in that. I'm not going to cover that here. So, if, again, if you want to see that stuff, be sure to check out that video. I'll put a link down below. So, with Scorpion, we're going to focus again on the Cyrax cameo and off of his launchers. And most combos with Scorpion begin with 2-1 in the spear. Right? That's what you're going to be utilizing the most is that 2-1, two, 2, you're fishing for buttons, boop, bop, bit. Right? So, that's what you're getting. And... We're going to start all of our combos right now with that. Now, depending on the amount of resources that you want to spend, you can get variable amounts of damage. We're going to start with using just one bar of Cyrax Cameo. And the combo looks like this. All right, so right there, we're at almost 40%. We got 38% right there with just one cameo bar. Not too bad. Now, we can spend meter and a cameo bar and get more damage. And it looks like this. All right, so right there, we're at 43%, right? So we're getting about 5% more damage there with that combo. Now, the key to this combo is really waiting before you land the second round of aerial attacks. And that's just 1-1-1. One, one, one. So I'll do it again just so you can see it. And notice the way that as I fall to the ground, I really wait on the 1-1-1. One, 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 so I'm able to still land my down back 2 at the end of the combo. If you do it too high, the down back 2 is going to whiff. All right, so let's take a look at that again. All right, so next up, we're going to be utilizing our back three. And you might think, please, you can't combo off back three, but you can. And it's pretty crazy, and we're going to take a look at it right here. So as soon as you hit back three from about this range, you want to call in the Cyrax cameo. This does two things. It does two things for you. One, it keeps you safe, right? This is really negative. So if we call the Cyrax cameo out as this is getting blocked... You're going to get some chip damage, it's going to push your opponent away, and you're going to be in a safe situation. What it also does, if it hits, is that it launches your opponent all the way across the screen, and you're able to use your spear, pull him back, 3-3, three, three, down back 2. And it looks like this. Kind of crazy, right? Kind of crazy. I like it, though. I like it, I do. Now, just to show you how this works... The closer you are to your opponent, I did the last combo at like max range. So the closer that you are to your opponent, it actually is safer, which is odd, right? So watch this. So if I were to have him do this, I can still get a down three, right, from that range. Right, I'm not going to be able to go into like highs or anything like that where I'm standing because Cyrax is just going to chop me up. But I can get like a down three. Now if I'm really close up, watch this. I can't poke or do anything. It jails. Right? So I'm jailed in there. Right? So actually, the closer you are, the safer it is. I find utilizing the back three from about this range to be really effective because it baits people to jump in. And then when people are jumping in, you're able to back to them, teleport right into combo. And I covered that in the original video, so be sure to check that out, again, down in the description below. Now, with back three into the Cyrax cameo being safer up close, the combo is different, and it looks like this. And in the air, we're just hitting 2-4. Now, there are other things that you can do, but they're not nearly as consistent, and the damage that you get off of it is negligible. So, in most cases, that's what I'm doing. Just jump in the air, 2-4. Now, keep in mind that there is a trick to this. In an actual match, you're not going to be able to get these, like, perfect situations where... 
you're here and you're back throwing and your opponent's standing still at the perfect spacing, right? So you're going to have to be able to visually see where the opponent goes once Cyrax kicks into gear. Now, if the character goes upward at an angle vertically, you're going to jump in and do 2-4. If they go horizontally, you're going to throw your spear. And you have to be able to read that in order to make this consistent. So make sure that you're able to do that. And we'll take a look at some examples here. Right, he went vertically, so we went up to meet him. And that time he went horizontally, so we throw the spear. Went horizontally, throw the spear. Went horizontally, throw the spear. Went vertically, go up to meet him. Right, so that's basically what you got to do. You got to be able to visually see at which angle the opponent's going and make the proper read based off of that. So it is a confirm after Cyrax comes in. You do have to confirm it to be successful with it. All right, so next we're going to look at the Cyrax grab, which you can meter burn for two bars to launch. And this is a real simple combo. We're just going to jump after the launch, hit 1-3, three, spear, 3-3, three, three, down back 2. And it looks like this. Right, so no cameo meter, uh, just two bars right there. Uh, simple damage. All right, so next we're going to spend all of our bars. So this is going to take three bars of meter, which is a lot. But again, this is off of a throw. And one cameo bar. And it looks like this. All right, so there we go. We're at about 31% right there. Uh, we're taking spending all of our bar and one cameo. Something that may be a little bit better for your resources is saving that one bar and just spending one cameo, and it looks like this. All right, so right there, about 27%. Eh, not too bad, right? Not too bad. So there you go, some added combos to the arsenal with Scorpion, particularly with the Cyrax cameo. Again, if you missed the first part of this guide, I highly recommend it. I'll put links down in the description. Be sure to check it out if you're looking to play Scorpion. Now, I'm sure as I learn the character more and the game develops more, there might be other combo paths and other routes that I may take. You might have some of your own. You can leave them down in the comment section. If you like videos like this and tutorials, be sure to subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell so you get updated whenever I post new content. And as always, I want to thank you guys for checking in. It's Jay Glee signing out and continue to game strong.